What's up my single chats? Today we're gonna be taking a look at that GTA 6 map. This map is being made based off of the trailer that we saw. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see if this map is big enough for that Lucia Bruna Bruh. to be carried around or not. We're gonna check this out my brothers. We gotta check this out man. Seriously dog. Love y'all for all the likes and new subscribers on the channel. Y'all are absolutely killing it man. Especially on the GTA 6 content. It doesn't feel real that we got the trailer and that we have the release date. Now, let's just hope that it doesn't get delayed, though. Let's just hope that it's not gonna come out by the end of 2025. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, if you love videos like these, and let's check it out. And before we dive into some of the more detailed shots of this map, we can zoom in. Uh, I just wanted to throw some speculation on, on out there on where the cities would be. Obviously, look, we have... Uh, the main Vice City part that's down here. Yeah. I would imagine the other second big city is Port Gellhorn over here on the left. That's going to be the Tampa. Or How many cities do you expect to uh, us to see? Because the the guy, you know, he actually confirmed the leak that, yup, Rockstar, my dad works at Rockstar. You, you know right. that, right? Right before the trailer came out, we had that second that actually was Rockstar North uh, <laughs> director's uh, son. He leaked the gameplay to his friend, which actually leaked it to all of his friends. And we are his friends, apparently. Right. Because he said that, y'all yeah, suckers are my friends. I'm going to leak it to everybody. He leaked it to us. And we, according to him, Obviously, we saw the gameplay and whatnot. It was like 12 second version of the Y City overview. But according to him, though, that Sega said that there are gonna be three cities in the game. Oh shit! And, and I believe he said that four sub cities or like smaller town areas, some shies like that. I want to know like how many you believe that we're gonna have. I mean, this is gonna be the main, right? Like Miami, Vice City, and then you got Portland already too. So I can dead ass see like the third one being like right here or maybe somewhere here. And like there's gonna be like small towns like this probably is gonna be one of those towns right or Fort Myers city we don't know much about it yet but you can kind of see there's some details we do already know and then that third major city I think is actually gonna be up north if it yeah, is Orlando sense, that would make sense. sense if it is maybe also if they're expanding their radius to like Atlanta or some city that's not actually in Florida it just makes sense that it is True. up north so this game's better it's gonna be a banger man i i'd say with three cities lucia lucia gonna be able to carry that burna around easily i'd say Bruh. like the video if you agree guys. this kind of would be where the cities are in my opinion going off of this map obviously we know vice city is on the bottom right we yep. know port gelhorn is in the middle left so the only other place because the everglades are down in the south the only other place for another major city to be is up north Makes okay, sense, so with sense, that out the way, sense. there's some really cool things you can do with this website. The first thing that we're going to do is actually look at a comparison map of GTA 5. You can actually go on the right here and there's a couple of layers which we'll look at. But if we just throw the GTA 5 layer up, you can see it is almost twice the size, maybe maybe a little under twice the size. Now, I would say like under twice, under like there's like that right side, like put that second on the left, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, put it to the left, bro. Yeah. Put it a little bit to the left. So that, then it's going to be an accurate comparison. I would say like 1.5 times uh, bigger, not uh, certainly not like two times bigger. If it got two times bigger, bro, heel, I, I would say heel, ye, heel, ye. this map. In GT6 is going to be massive. I mean, it's just cool. comparing the Alamo C here to Lake Leonida. Now, Lake Leonida, it is a little bit of a speculation as far as how big it is, but that lake is way bigger than mm. the Alamo C here. Rockstar did also mention this is the most immersive GTA yet. It's gonna be pretty immersive driving in this game. If you have to go from Vice City, you know, down here. Let's take the GTA 5 map off. Vice City down here. Dog, I wanna go all the way down right here. And this joint actually, the, the, in the trailer, we all saw that, right? Like, especially that scene where it feels like that you are going towards this area. It is dead from this area, though. I, I just wanna go all the way at the bottom. Man, driving and exploring in the very beginning it's gonna be insane man that that's gonna be really really fun especially i i, I in, in fact like i remember when gta 5 first came out the exploration in that game was amazing though hell i lit though I, I hope there's a lot of planes variety as well i hope the planes fly fast in this game dog because i know for gta 5 they slowed them down uh, probably due to the fact that you know we were on the ps3 and xbox one and you know you don't want to they don't want to those suckers don't want to let you go from point a to point b uh, that fast 
because if you go fast then the entire game is gonna break down because of the the rendering the memory the ram and all that crap but on ps5 and series x i hope they have solved that problem i hope these suckers have solved that problem here it's gonna take a you know decent amount of time to get to port gelhorn to get up here throwing the gta 5 map back up i mean we all know we've all driven down you know from yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, bay sir. all the way to like the city it takes you know a good amount of time it takes like what seven eight minutes if you're in a, a standard vehicle imagine going from down here in key west all the way to the north of the map that might take you know 15 20 minutes of driving time yeah. which yeah, yeah, in my yeah, opinion yeah, is yeah. awesome that actually might yeah. mean planes and other aircraft might be a lot more valuable in this game now we're gonna actually I, I hope they dead ass day one drop the hydra jet as well i hope there's like army bases there's gonna be an army base right we had that insane interviews yo did we had a uh an army base in vice city i don't remember personally i don't think we had though oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah right but this is a blah, 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 blah. this is gonna be gts6 so there's there there's gotta be uh there's gotta be an army base as well on zoom it. in here to check out some of the map but before we get into that huge shout out to all these people who are some of the people helping to make this map? This is why the GTA community is Don't one of the Marvel. better ones. There's just so many cool people doing some really cool stuff. Yeah, and then crazy, also if man. I scroll up, you can actually see the orange borders are speculation. I just wanted to throw that out there because the one thing we don't know is the actual outline of the map. So yeah. obviously the big change in this speculation is there is no island it's just a continuous map and i guess there would be some sort of invisible border up here at the top kind of like rdr2 although rdr2 of course had True. mountains True. so i don't know what they would do in florida but it is speculation there could be an island map if we actually look at one of these other uh map layers this one right here is an island map so unfortunately that's something yeah, this is a very well made map uh, obviously this is a fan made uh, still made based off of real a real world map and also like all the league gameplay that we had uh you know all the all every time we saw lucia burna alongside that guys there was a mini map too though oh, shit. so circus have took uh pictures of that and circus have combined all of that and they put pieces by pieces like tick, 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 and they have made this map and the map is beautiful though and obviously we have seen this area in the actual trailer as well although like the original map is gonna be a little bit different though shape wise but it's certainly gonna be very close to this one very very close to this one something we're, we're just not gonna know until we have a lot more data and we will come back to look at this map because this is a really cool one but getting back to the original one we're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna start at the bottom down in the florida keys now the really cool part is they actually have some of these locations from the leaked videos. So like Jason at sea, if you've watched the leaked videos, there was a clip with Jason just chilling out in the ocean. There was also a lighthouse and you can kind of see what the Florida Keys would look like in the trailer. Yeah, we got to one, see this, this bridge with the other sort of uh, worn down bridge with a yeah. couple of gaps in it, maybe a stunt jump that is right here. So we oh my God, oh, bro. Shit. Oh, shit. holy yeah this is the one right yeah damn and yeah we got that two-way two-way highway as well this is a broken one damn yo this game gotta be big man this game gotta be big when is that game coming out man rockstar release it uh late 2024 bro come on papa Bruh. we actually can notice we're going north in that trailer so that's almost some of the the most southern part of the map and the green outlines are what's confirmed because of course we got to see those in in the trailer so all this other stuff is probably they're just basing it off of real life. There's a lot of little smaller yeah. islands, you know, out in real life. So I think it's a good educated guess. Uh, I, I truly do hope that there are like smaller like land scattered around the sea because they, otherwise it's going to feel empty though, right? Like it, uh, even if they have, I, I truly do hope that on these small islands, there is a little bit, there's something at least uh wildlife at the very least. And there's like a little bit of something to do, uh, some rare stuff. Uh, but I truly do hope that there are like little islands that are scattered around the map. Of course though, yes. as you go up, that's when you start hitting some of the you know the grasslands the the everglades there is a little town and i'm assuming that's probably one of the sub cities or maybe it's just one of the smaller towns it's called hamlet or homestead i think we've seen it called a couple of names in the trailer and in the leaks but this is the most southern city or town before you do hit the bridge to get to the keys 
Yeah, I mean, it makes sense when the, uh, the, the, the son of the Rockstar director said, there's gonna be four towns. Uh, I suspect that there might even be more than just four towns, because the map is gonna be big, though. Three cities and four towns, or maybe more than that, or around the same. Uh, it's gonna be crazy, bro. We'll just zoom out yeah, a bit. Hell yeah. I'm assuming most of this area here on the left to the, to the west of the Homestead area is gonna be the Everglades area, so it's gonna be mainly wilderness. There is an interstate, though, apparently, that goes through that, so you're not going to have to go way out of your way, I guess, to get here? you know, to Port Gellhorn or some of the other cities up north. We'll zoom back in, though, and we'll, of course, take our way up to Vice City, and this is really where it gets kind of cool. Like, the details, like, this is how in-depth we already know what Vice City is going to look like. We can see street. Shout out to the Reddit detectives. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Twitter to Texas, man. <laughs> God damn, bro. Like, this is crazy. This is made based off the actual trailer and the real life map, obviously. But, you know, we took, uh, these suckers have took reference from the real life map and references from the trailer that we saw. And it is, it is hella crazy that we already know, like, the map uh, layout, though. You feel what I'm saying? Obviously, it's going to be a, a bit different, but it's going to be like this. Streets. We can see the stadium. All of these bridges and, and buildings are already in this map. Like, this is crazy. We have the Venetian Islands. If we go to the beach, you can see all of the different buildings have already been mapped out. Yeah, and that's that. That's that. Suck it, right? Oh, this shit. is oh, this shit. is the area that we saw. This is the beach that we saw in the in the very beginning with all the burners and the the that get right. There's a couple of really cool islands in between, like the beach and then the city. Obviously, the Venetian Islands already mentioned. The Sunset Islands have a couple of other little smaller islands. We have a tennis park or, or a tennis center down here. And then, of course, we have the Vice City International Airport. So you can see yeah. it's kind of a distance away from like the beach very or maybe away, some very of the, the big part of the city. But this is what just blows my mind that we we kind of already have a really good idea of what this means. Yeah, I remember this one in the original Vice City. Although I didn't play Vice City that much, I was always hooked on the San Andreas game. I, I did buy all all the, the, the GTA games. I, I even played GTA 3, but not that much in comparison to San Andreas, though. San Andreas was basically the, the game that I know life to death, the dog part of the map is going to look like now we'll actually hop over here to port gelhorn you'll take this interstate i'm assuming again there'll be some stuff it's not all just going to be you know blank space but i'm sure maybe there'll be some little small towns and other things we of course hit the state prison kind of just in the middle over here and then we get to port gelhorn now it looks like there is going to be a racetrack over here in Port Gellhorn, so that's really cool. I'm sh I'm sure there'll be some really. I, I think this is a prison that we saw in the er, in the beginning of the trailer. Cool stuff there. Yeah. We don't really have, I guess, a great look at the city. I guess there's a couple of buildings, a couple of streets they have mapped out. There's just not been enough Gellhorn, you mm -hmm. know, locations in the trailers and in the the leaks mm -hmm. to to really map it out. We have the Gellhorn po uh, the motel scene. I think that was from the leaks and then we do get a little further north we do have some hills that has been confirmed this is also the hanks waffle diner scene this was from this is probably one of the bigger leaks more people probably saw that clip than anything but they mapped yeah. that out you can see that's kind of a little north <laughs> of the actual i guess city part of port gellhorn and then that leads us up north to Yorktown. Yorktown. We do know that. I, I truly hope that just like GTA 5, you, you, you remember that, right? Even in San Andreas, right? There's a mission where you go to Liberty City. Oh, shit! I still remember that. There's a mission that actually, you you know, you take a plane and you go to Liberty City. Uh, or was it GTA 3? I don't remember much uh, from the top of my head, but I do remember that you go somewhere, especially in GTA 5, you go to, you go to North Yankton, though. I want to see some island secretive island like that maybe like another map that's secretive but this time i truly hope that it's not a hidden thing i mean it's hidden till you get to explore it but once you have explored it it reveals it's revealed on the map like the video if you agree because i think it, it was a missed opportunity to not have north yankton on the map once you have been there it, it would have been way better if they if the suck is actually revealed that all the map and we have that even in online and and the Car Cal Perico as well though you know that island as well if that was just available on in the story mode 
and in online alongside North Yankton on the map where you can take a flight, you can go, you can take a boat, you can go there. It, it would have been just just amazing though. I don't know why. It's, it's such a missed opportunity, bruh. But guys, recently the leaker got back. The leaker is back, guys. The, the, I'm talking about the leaker that leaked the Lucia Burna. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Check it out, man.